Avid's Import tab is the path for bringing your assets into the application from anywhere. It doesn't matter if it's a camcorder, camera, flash stick, or hard drive. In this chapter, we will show you how to import from a DV camera, an older analog device, such as a VHS VCR, and a non-copyrighted DVD. The import tool works for a variety of devices. Hard drives, including your local hard disks, as well as external drives, video cameras that record to tape, DVD, or even internal hard drives, photo cameras, webcams, DVD and Blu-ray discs, and pinnacle capture devices, such as Pinnacle Movie Box, which allows capture of material from older analog devices, such as home VCRs and DVD players. External devices simply need to be attached to the computer. They will be detected automatically and show up in the import tool so you can easily access your media. Let's start by capturing from a DV camera using the IEEE 1394 FireWire connector. After the cable is connected, turn your camera on. Wait 15 seconds and then click the Import tab in Avid Studio. Your camera will be seen at the top of the device listing. Here you will select which hard drive and folder you would like your footage captured to. If possible, try to always use a hard drive that is rated for video. These drives are typically larger and faster to handle the amount of data needed for uninterrupted video capture. In the Mode tab, since we are inputting from a DV camera, let's select DV here. Leave Scene Detection on. Scene Detection then splits your footage into smaller sections as it captures based on visible changes in your footage. This will make editing your movie much faster. Let's select Stop at Tape End. This is handy so we won't have to watch the entire capture process if your footage is very long. Let's move on to file naming and use a name that represents your footage. I will call mine Dance. Using the camera tape transport control and the playback window in Avid Studio, find the spot on the tape you would like to start recording from and push Start Capture. When you are finished, push Stop Capture. Your footage is now in the library for use in your movie. Capture devices such as Pinnacle Movie Box allows capture of material from older analog devices such as home VCRs and DVD players that use RCA or S-Video type connectors as shown here. These devices convert analog signals into digital signals that are necessary for the movie making process. Attach the capture device to your computer using a USB cable. Turn on your player and start playing back the material so we can make some adjustments. Select the Import tab. At the top, you will see your capture device. Select either Composite or S-Video, depending on which connector you used. Click here to adjust audio and video levels. Make sure your audio gain slider is raised until the audio peaks in the yellow and orange areas of your peak meters. Select the format you need for your particular region in the world. Decide if you want to make any changes to your import to or mode settings like scene detection. Now go ahead and name it something. Get into the habit of using names that mean something to you. As your library of capture footage grows, this will become a valuable habit.
Find the spot on the tape that you would like to start recording from and push Start Capture in Avid Studio. Wait 8 to 10 seconds for the computer to start its capture. When you are finished capturing, push Stop Capture. Your footage is now in the library for use in your movie. If you would like to import the footage from a non-copyright protected DVD or Blu-ray disc, Avid Studio makes it easy. Simply insert your DVD into your computer's DVD or Blu-ray ROM drive. Click the Import tab in Avid Studio. In the Import From window, select the tab called DVD Blu-ray. After a moment, you will see a miniature video player window with a play button. Press the play button if you would like to see some of the footage on your disc. You can scan ahead to different sections using the playhead underneath. If there is more than one thumbnail with your disc, select the video or videos you want to capture by checking the box in the upper right hand corner. Push the Start Import button. When the process is complete, you will have the file footage in a format you can use during your movie making process. Hello, I'm Paul Holtz from Class On Demand. This introductory chapter gave you a quick look at the creative power and flexibility of Avid Studio. If you'd like to learn more about creating your movies with the same high quality production polish used in the latest Hollywood blockbusters, then order your copy of Class On Demand's Complete Training for Avid Studio on Avid's website. On behalf of Avid and Class On Demand, thanks for watching.